Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. And today I'm going to share in just a moment one of uh, uh, what's become one of my life verses out of Jeremiah 17. But you can see I'm out here on my front porch and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I'm actually a little bit cold because today it's cold, windy, rainy and overcast. But a couple days ago, we were hot. We were wearing t-shirts and shorts and flip-flops. And, in, and at this time of year in Indiana, the weather is all over the place. I um, mean, you might have snow. As a matter of fact, my computer screen is shaking right now because the wind's blowing it. But you might have snow. You might have heat. You just don't know. And when I'm looking and monitoring our coronavirus crisis that we're in right now, the information is just all over the place. You know, every time we try to make a, a plan at the church, uh, the information changes, and we kind of have to go back to the drawing board. And, and here's here's kind of what's, what's, I guess, giving me a life verse that, that really applies to the situation. It's, it's out of Jeremiah chapter 17. And, you know, especially for our small business folks that, you know, you're waiting on a government loan or, the you know, you're waiting on something as far as uh, some type of assistance to help you. Maybe you're waiting on a stimulus check. and Here's what I want to give you today, that one of the things we're seeing in this world is our government, and, and I'm not against our government, but man is just doing the best that he can. And just like the weather, their information is changing from day to day, and we're hoping we get a stimulus, we're hoping we get a, a, some type of assistance to our small businesses, but let me give you a life verse that I really believe applies today. And I want you to really meditate upon this, and it'll bring peace into your soul. It's Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, and a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. He shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor cease from yielding fruit. And I just want to put that out there today that we, we don't want to put our trust in man. Thank God for the accomplishments of man. Thank God for all the things we've done. But at the end of the day, it's really going to come back to our trust and our faith in Jesus Christ. That's where our long-term eternal life, our long-term eternal joy, our eternal peace, that's where those things are going to be found. As I leave you today, I want to give you a praise report that came in late last week. We didn't know it was a praise report. Um, but our church was calling people, all, all the people in our church over the last few days, and we were praying with them Psalms 91, which is the protection psalm in the Bible. And I had called one particular individual, and he has a tree business. And as I was praying Psalms 91 into his voicemail, because he didn't pick up, he was cutting down a tree, the tree limb he had cut fell and hit a young man. It was a 300-pound limb, and it hit him square in the back, knocked him down, and should have killed him. While that tree branch was falling, this tree man was saying, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that that young man walked out of the hospital on his own power yesterday, and he's going to live and not die. And uh, we just saw that divine protection in action. And I just want you to know that whether it's a falling tree limb, whether it's a, a texting driver or a coronavirus, we put our faith in the Lord and we shall not cease to bear fruit. I love you. I'll see you at 1230 today for our live faith and prayer broadcast. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day. If you like this video, like and share. 